play on. You want to play on that? Yes. That's the satellite. It goes on. The airplane goes on there. It kind of looks like a helipad, doesn't it? If you had a VTOL airplane, you could land on there. Let's open it up, see what's inside. If all goes well, ladies and gentlemen, this video will have been uploaded and brought to you by Whoa. Starlink. Ooh, what do you say, Violet? That's a pad. It is a pad. Let's take the person off. <gasps> what is, wow. Let's see what's underneath it. This looks like you could have some fun. Ooh, look at that. That's a pad. That's a pad. You, you care about, you're just like the cats when you get a toy at Christmas. Who cares about the toy? I want to play with the box. So this is pretty cool. I'm going to set this up and uh, I'll do a couple speed tests with it and let you know how it goes. So the really cool part about this is that it comes already set up. Well, as set up as you can get it. Plug it in. This cable is already plugged into the router. I don't know what this is, some sort of converter box or something. Goes into the router, and then a single cable goes from inside the house out to wherever you put the dish. And then the instructions are super simple. Look at that. Point dish at sky, plug it in, connect to Wi-Fi. Let's see just how simple it is. Alright, so kind of a temporary solution for the setup. I got a pallet and then a table screwed to it for uh, stability, the t pallet's there so the wind doesn't blow it over. And then I have, look at that, it just moved. Then I have this screwed to here. So there it is moving, doing its thing. Can you see it moving? Well, it moved. It was vertical, now it's horizontal. So it must be looking at a satellite or something. Anyway, so it's doing its thing. I'm gonna go inside, see what the router's doing. Oh, it's moving. I don't know. I'm gonna go inside see what's going on All right, so there's the router there. It's just a simple white box with a single white light on the front of it It's got a white cord goes into this thing here It has a black cord that comes out and that goes to the satellite dish outside and the other side just plugs directly into a power bar so That's as easy as it is to hook up. You literally just plug it in and then it does everything else. So literally, plug and play. It's pretty cool. There really aren't a lot of internet options where I live and I'm currently stuck with, as you're about to see, about five megabits per second download speeds and about half a megabit per second upload speed. So that's pretty slow compared to what the modern world usually has for internet access. It's not terrible, I can still use it, you can still watch YouTube on it and stuff, but it's really hard to upload videos. What I end up doing is going over to Vicky's house and using her whatever it is, she's got fiber optic internet of some sort and it is blazing fast. So that's what I use to upload my videos typically, otherwise it literally takes me 6 to 12 hours to upload a 10 to 20 minute video. So um, this will hopefully allow me to upload my videos from home. I'll be able to actually just finish my video and upload it right away. I'm probably not gonna get out videos any faster than I normally do, but at least I can do it right from the comfort of my own home. So let's go upstairs and run a couple of speed tests and see what the difference is between Starlink and what I currently have. All right, so I thought I'd start with my original internet that I have been running for the last couple years. There we go, six, seven, almost eight, there it is, eight, ooh, eight megabits per second, upload, oh wait, I mean download, whatever. So eight down, let's see what we got for up. Huh, almost one. Pretty impressive, that's some of the higher speeds I've seen in quite a while. <laughs> and 64 milliseconds for ping. Let's do that again. Let's get, uh, let's go to get an average. Let's do two. We'll do two for each one. So there's eight, seven. So again, you know, this is, um, this is not blazing fast. This is what I've had to put up with for quite a while. So there we go. 
0.9 again so pretty consistent and that is it's a little faster than what it normally is but it is a little later at night uh, ping 56 all right so that's pretty good let's go down to Sterling here and let's see what Sterling does all right well as you can see right off the bat we've had just a very slight improvement there 100 and almost 60 megabits per second download speed so I guess 144 is what it ended up at and upload speeds we're talking uh, 20 to 30 which is uh, a significant improvement over what I have been using and you can see the ping speed that's latency there was 48 milliseconds let's do another one yeah still fast yeah I like this like this way better and what something that had been worrying me was the ping speed look at that 38 milliseconds traditional satellite internet uh, comes from satellites that are in geosynchronous orbit which means they are way far away from the earth like 150,000 miles or something I don't know I'm not a space scientist uh, but they're a long ways away whereas the Starlink constellation is in low earth orbit it's just above the atmosphere so the ping the, it's way way closer it's something like I don't know 12 or 15 miles like I, I don't know what it is it, it's a lot closer than the geosynchronous stuff and as you can see from the ping speeds 38 milliseconds I mean you can game with that I mean some guys are like oh you need 20 milliseconds or less 38 is fine for people who are just playing around and not competitive so yeah this is really cool internet now the downside is right now I am just on a beta and so they have told me that expect outages so I have not cancelled my other internet yet and I won't until I get some pretty good results with uh, with with seeing how often it's offline uh, because it will be offline as they add satellites or whatever they got to do their own tests and stuff because this is still just a very uh, early version of this of this technology but I'm really happy that I've got it and uh, hopefully it means that uh, I can upload videos a lot more quickly or <laughs> so this video is brought to you by Starlink so that's pretty flippin cool I will put in the description how long it took to upload it and uh, compared to what it would have taken if I had left it on my uh, my original internet so it's gonna be cool to see uh, see how much faster that's gonna be so anyway that's pretty much it for this video I guess um, I all I have left to do is finish editing the video and then uploading it to uh, to the internet so um, hopefully you're seeing this in the morning and uh, hopefully it didn't take very long to, to upload if you have any questions about Starlink I'm probably not the guy to answer them for you I just got it I don't know I'm making this stuff up as I go I'm just doing what the box said um, feel free to ask questions in the comments anyway and I'm sure someone will be able to answer them um, other than that though, hopefully we get some flying weather real soon. Fingers crossed, tomorrow's going to be some ski flying weather, so keep an eye out for a ski flying video coming your way, hopefully sooner than later. Until then, hope you have a good evening. We'll see you next time.